Y'all already know I'm just winning. All I do is win. And I'm back here with another video. Today I'm doing the story time. Man, I'm going to tell y'all the story time when I got into this bad road rage incident that almost turned bad. Man, so like, I ain't going to tell. I ain't going to lie to y'all. I used to have really bad road rage. Like, excuse me. I used to have like really bad road rage. Like, and it just like, it just get crazy. But like now, I don't have road rage like bad no more. It's like more I cuss people out to myself. But, bruh, I have, like, bad-ass road rage. Like, it's crazy. So, look, this one day, I was driving. But I want to say I was leaving my crib, and I was going to get something to eat. I was going literally down the street to go to this place, man. Go get some wings and shit. Go pick up some food for me and my mom. So, bruh, I'm driving down the street. Bruh, I don't know this car. Like, niggas cut me off. When niggas cut me off, I get pissed. I'm not gonna lie. You cut me off, I get pissed, bruh. If you cut me off, I'm gonna I'm a torment your ass in, 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 in the road. I'm gonna I'm torture your ass in the road. Like, I'm gonna, I'm like, fuck you. I'm gonna, fu I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, bruh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'm fucking make you mad, man. I'm gonna make you mad, bruh. Like, bruh, this nigga cut me off. So, dude cut me off. I won't have it at. I won't have it at. But then again, you know what, though? I might have cut them off. Because I ain't going to lie. I'm the type of nigga that cut niggas off. And if a nigga get mad at me for cutting them off, I get mad at them for getting mad at me. Because why the fuck you get mad at me for cutting you off, bitch? Get the fuck out of my way. I was like, I did that shit because you going slow and shit. Get the fuck out of my way. Simple as that. So, goddamn... I don't know. I, I ain't going to flex to you. I can't, I, can't even, I can't even sit here and lie to y'all. I might have cut the nigga off. I don't know. Because I, I was famous for cutting niggas off. So whatever the case is, I probably cut this nigga off. Probably pissed his, pissed his, pissed his, pissed his ass off, and I got pissed. I'm the type of nigga, you honk at me, I'm going to honk back at your ass to piss you. Hey, don't none piss niggas off more on the road when you in the wrong and they honk at you, you honk back. Oh, my fucking God. I used to love to see people's faces when I do this shit. And I'm the type of nigga like, bro, I cut your ass off or do something bad in the road and we both got to go to the stoplight together. I'm gonna look straightforward and I'm gonna I'm gonna look normal. I'm not gonna look at you. You can look at me. I'm not gonna look at you. I'm gonna act like that shit happened because it's gonna piss you off more. I'm not scared. I ain't scared. You know? I just I, I just like nigga, I know I did something. Cause then I know in your head it's like, why the fuck you ain't looking over your scared ass? I know you've you you um I know the niggas be thinking like you um trying to act all normal shit like you just fuck cut me off, trying to like I, ain't shit happen. Yeah, that's what the fuck I'm acting like. Ain't shit happen, bitch. So goddamn, bro, I'm going to get some food and shit. I probably cut the nigga off. He probably cut me off. However, it went. Once you once you get the hulking at me, I get pissed. He honked at me, so I ain't gonna flex, bro. I probably I rolled down the window and shit. I do. I I, I know. I, I can't remember how it had started off, but I know the shit escalate quick with me, bro. Cause I have bad road rage, especially when you piss me off and shit. So I rolled down the window. And I'm cussing bruh out, and he and he's saying something back to me. Matter of fact, that's what the fuck happened, bruh. He he no, he was saying something to me first. I rolled my window down, I was cussing him out and shit. I was cussing him out and shit, calling him a bitch and whatnot and shit. That was probably uncalled for, probably calling him a bitch, cause he was saying some crazy shit. I couldn't hear him cause the wind was blowing and shit. We both driving fast. We're going like sixty miles per hour. I don't know what the fuck he's saying. Like, come on now, bro. Far far from, you know what I'm saying, far distance from me. But as you know, bro, I was talking shit, I seen his mouth moving and shit. So I'm cussing him out of shit and shit. And I'm, I'm quick to flick you off. Like, I'm, like, I'm flicking him off. Like, what the fuck? Fuck you. I probably ain't calling him a bitch or a rook, but I'm flicking him off and shit. So he, he talking shit. You can tell a nigga talking shit right in his mouth and shit. So I'm talking cash shit, bro. This is when I had the audience. I was still in the Audi, whipping the arm, Mr. Audi. I had the Audi and shit. Nigga had a um, pickup truck and shit. So, goddamn. Nigga talking shit. And I'm not gonna flex. I'm the type of person who have road rage and throw shit at people's cars. And I'm famous for throwing a water bottle. I would throw a water bottle and then caught quick and not give a fuck. Like, bro, I, I, bro I'm a nigga. I'm a water bo bottle slinger, nigga. Like, who who a great-ass pitcher in baseball? Like, nigga, I sling, I sling, bro. I sling that bitch like niggas be slinging the fucking, like a pitcher be slinging a baseball. And nigga, I sling the fuck out some water bottle, bottles, nigga. Beam that bitch at your ass like fucking... Lamar Jackson or some shit like what the fuck beam them bitches like man Aaron Rodgers beam them bitches at your ass so goddamn I I didn't have no water bottle I was looking for a water bottle I didn't have a water bottle so I had some coins in my car and I don't really carry coins in my car so I grabbed a penny tell me why I picked the penny up 
I try to sling the penny at his ass out the window and shit. I try to sling the penny at his ass out the window and shit. Tell me why that shit, my window won't roll down all the way. And that shit hit the fuck out my glass. Bruh, I thought I fucking broke my glass, bro. I was so pissed because, like, nigga, that shit went bad. That shit, that shit was a fail. How the fuck I try to sling some shit at this car? And I'm a professional. That, I'm used to the water bottles, bro. It, it, see, one of the water bottle. It was penny. That was something new. That shit backfired like fuck, and he seen me do it and shit. And, and, and he was just, I could imagine, I couldn't hear what he's saying. He's just cussing and shit. So, goddamn, um, bro, I went down the road. I seen it went down the road, and this is where I fucked up at. I um, I had to turn into the lane. I had to get into, like, the media and jump to turn. You know, I had to wait to the other side to come to come through and shit. Then I turned and shit into the plaza to go get me some food and shit. Go get me, you know what I'm saying? Go pick up my order and shit. So... Goddamn, I'm my con shit, get my, um, you know what I'm saying, get my shit together and shit. Tell me why this nigga motherfucker busted Yui and that nigga was in the parking lot. I didn't know, bro. bro I didn't know he was in the parking lot. I didn't know because imagine he went up the road, so he probably turned that, that light and shit. Bro, I did not know that nigga was coming back. That's why I fucked up at. I did not know that nigga was coming back. He probably, he thought I, bro, that nigga, bro, that nigga, bro, I'm talking about, Nigga, I'm sitting in my car, I'm like, fuck, is this, this this nigga? I seen the pickup truck, I said, oh, is this this nigga? What the fuck? Bro, I ain't gonna lie. I'm prepared for everything that come with what I do and, my con and, 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 and the consequences that come behind the shit I do and I stand on it. Don't get it fucked up. But it just caught me off guard that this nigga really came. Like, I, shit like that never happened. I be trying to, like, get niggas to pull over, get out of their car so we can fight it some more, but, like, Damn, a nigga actually did it. So the shit did have me fucked up and stuck. Cause it's like, I stand on it. I be I don't be I don't be bullshitting this shit when I be like, one of the fight niggas when I be on the road. But damn, this nigga actually wanted to fight. Like nigga, I was like twenty and oh against niggas who ain't want to fight. Probably more than that. But this is like the first nigga that actually want to fight. So that shit kind of had me in awe, oh, nigga. I was shocked. So goddamn, I get out of the car. That nigga said, you, um, nigga said, you threw something in my car? You threw something in my car? I said, I said, yeah, I threw something at your car. What the fuck? Fuck you talking about? I'm like, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, yeah, I threw something at your car. Yeah, I was like, what you gonna do? Nigga said, you threw some car, some, some. Bruh, that nigga started walking up to me, and I'm walking up to him. And I'm not gonna flex, bruh. As he was walking up to me, and I'm walking up to him, I had to do a further calculation of reconsidering things in life, because I was talking hella shit. And he was and he was talking hella shit. And we both was pissed. And I'm talking shit like I'm ready to fight. I'm like, yeah, what you what you what you ready doing shit? Like, you know what I'm saying? What you trying to do and shit? Like, bro, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? I'm standing on it. Bro, as I got close, I didn't realize how big that nigga was, bro. That nigga was big as a bitch. Mind you, I'm like, bro, I'm like 6'2", bro. I probably 6'1 at the time. 6'2", whatever, same thing. But I'm I'm heavier. I'm like, bruh, but at the, during that time, I probably like, bro, I was probably like one fifty something. So I'm like over twenty pounds heavier than what I like. You know what I'm saying at that time, I was like dumb skinny. And this nigga was this nigga was taller than me, bro. Bro, I probably had to be like six four, six five, probably like, yeah, six five, six six, something like that. And that nigga was dead ass over two something. He won't fat. That nigga was pretty built. Probably had a little beer belly and shit, but the nigga was pretty built. The nigga was like you know a solid dude. I had the ball here. Bro was already in the pickup truck. So this 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 a grown man, grown man. This this dude is like, you know what I'm saying? A, a real grown ass man. And you know it's a such thing as grown man scruff. So as I was evaluating this shit and looking at this nigga, I had to like I'm a quick ass thinker. I had to think like, oh, this nigga, this nigga might be this I ain't no mic. This this nigga this yeah. Cause it's a mic, cause I ain't I ain't really let the habit either. I'm like, oh, this nigga, this nigga might be my ass. Hold on, this, this is a big ass nigga. But like, in my, in my, in my mind, I'm scared as a bitch. <laughs> but I won't show it because I was talking shit. But I'm like, this nigga big as a bitch, bruh. So nigga, I ain't wanna walk closer and shit. Like for this nigga get to grabbing on my shit or fucking knock me out, man. This nigga got like hundred pounds over me. This nigga definitely could knock me out easy. Like, I'm like, what the fuck? This nigga big as a bitch. So I'm talking shit, like, and I had to think, like, what the fuck did I, like, why out of all the times I have road rage, 
the one nigga that pop out was a big ass fucking grown ass man. Like, no. I need a nigga my size. Nigga, damn. Oh, you can't be old. I need a nigga my size or smaller, bro. Just a little bit bigger, but damn, nigga. Yo ass like 6'6", 230, like. Nigga, yo ass belong in the NFL or some shit. Like, what the fuck you? Like, come on, bro. Yo ass nah, bro. What you, what you doing, nigga? Yo ass NFL lineman and shit. Like, linebacker and shit. Nah, get your ass on, nigga. I'm like 6'1", nigga. One, one, 151 or some shit like that. Like, come on, bro. Come, no. We not ready to fight. We not ready to fight hands. So, nigga, I'm, I'm talking shit like... No, I'm like, I'm gonna beat your ass, nigga. I'm gonna beat your ass. So, nigga, I reviewed away what the fuck was going on. Because I can see this nigga big than me. He's gonna definitely whip my ass. So, I went to my motherfucking car, nigga. And, nigga, I, was, I used to drive around with this big ass metal pole in my car, nigga. I went to go get that metal pole, nigga. Because now, no. Now, nigga, we need a weapons, nigga. Now, no, ain't no we. He can't. He, that nigga big as fuck. He don't need a weapon. He he's big as fuck and he got and he got a weapon. Oh no, you 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 already a threat to my motherfucking life. Just just nigga bare hands. Now you got a weapon. Nah, bitch, I'm getting the fuck out of here. So I went to go. Nah, I went to go get a weapon. I meant so I went to go get a big ass metal pole and shit. And I know I could, bro. If I was to get, you know, what I'm saying I get that one hit on his ass, I will whack his ass. But if he block it, the shit gonna hurt. But if it's just drilling and pumping enough, that nigga could still fuck me up because the pole won't be so long. It's a melee weapon. It won't be so long. And I still need to get pretty close to him. And I still didn't want to really get that close to him. Because like I said, this nigga big. So he might eat the first swing or some shit. He might... Boom! Debo my shit. So I'm thinking like, what the fuck? But I'm prepared for it. I got the weapon. Once I get the melee weapon, I'm a melee weapon specialist. I ain't even gonna flex to y'all. So once I get the melee weapon in my hand, nigga... I feel like I'm invincible, nigga. You not fucking with me. Especially as long as you don't got no gun and shit and I got the melee weapon, I feel invincible. Honestly, I feel like you never had the you got a gun, I probably I don't know, but not realistically. But goddamn. So I'm talking shit. Nigga said, oh, you gon' nigga said, oh, you you gon' you gon' get you gon' get a pole, you gonna get a weapon. I'm like, yeah, nigga, you big as fuck. What the fuck you the fuck you man? Like you don't see the size difference. You're not ready you, you think you ready to fight me bare hands, nigga? Nigga, you lucky I don't got a goddamn gun in my car, nigga. Because now we're ready to escalate this situation to something else, nigga. Because, nigga, I'm not fighting you. Tell me something. You, you got a weapon. You got a pole. Stop asking dumbass rhetorical questions. You see the shit in my motherfucking head? Yeah, I got it. Nigga, you lucky? No. You, nigga, you better be lucky. Nigga, I had no gun during that time, nigga. Because, nigga, I would have definitely popped your ass, nigga. And, shit, I wouldn't be here probably right now. Because, bruh. You, you, you want, nigga, we, we want ready to fight bare hands. Come on, bro. You got 100 pounds over me. We want ready to fight bare hands, nigga. I was ready to go get the gun, nigga. I was ready to go get the gun. C come on, buddy. You're, you're 6'6", 230. I'm 6 fucking 1, fucking 152. You, come on, we're not fighting. I'm getting the gun. I'm getting the gun, buddy. You, you lucky I don't have a gun. So I got the pole and shit. So... Damn, this nigga over here, cause I guess he, cause I'm a little, I'm a, I'm a little nigga and shit, so he already see like he a threat to me. Yeah, bitch, you is a threat to me, so I'm getting the weapon. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a smart, I'm a smart nigga. I think, I'm a smart nigga. I think. I seen I got into my situ, I got myself into a situation where I know I couldn't win, so I went to go get a weapon. And that's a smart thing to do when you do that. When you do that shit, you going against a nigga? Come on, it's bigger than you. Come on, bro, be realistic. So goddamn. I talking shit like, but tell me some, nigga tell me some, oh you tell me some, you tell me some, nigga nigga tell me some, you love, you love, you tell me some, you love as hell man, you little skinny ass, tell me some, my son could beat your ass, my son, my son a football player, my son um, oh, my son bigger than you, he'll beat your ass, nigga tell, nigga fuck your son, nigga, the fuck you talking about, nigga fuck your son, nigga, tell me some, yo what your son could do, nigga bitch I'll beat your motherfucking son ass, nigga I, you big as fuck, I probably can't beat you, but get your son out here, I'll beat the fuck out your son. Tell me some his son ain't a fucking uh, uh offensive line and fucking he he he's six he's six what he's six four or some shit biggest nigga you're bigger than me your son younger than me but he's bigger than me your son gonna have to scrimp over me but bitch I'm gonna beat your fucking son ass and come on bro even still nigga I'm gonna whack that nigga with a pole too what the fuck you talk about tell me something to get your son 
I promise you, if you got your son, nigga, I'd have been more confident because this nigga younger than me or around my age range. Like, nigga, but he was younger than me. Nigga, bro, I was still in high school. I was I was in college at the time. Like, bro, nigga, I would have ended. I, bro, I'm telling this nigga, I'm like, go get your son. I'm going to end his football career. I'm going to end his football career. Go get your son. Like, because I'm dead ass. Like, nigga, I'm going to whack that nigga straight in his motherfucking kneecap. Tell me something. I'm going to go get, I'm going to go get, I'm going to go get my son. Bitch, I'm going to beat your fucking son ass. I'm like, nigga, fuck your son. I'm like, bro, fuck your son. Go get your son. I'm going I'm to I'm beat your son ass. I'm going to end this football career. So, so, oh, you not going to do nothing. My son going to beat your, your little ass. You you can't do none of my son. Go get your son then, bitch. Go get your son. Let's see how this shit go, nigga. Let's, just, let's see how this shit go, nigga. Tell so, so, go get his son. Nigga, that nigga lucky my older brother was in jail, nigga. Cause my, my older brother... That nigga, he's, he, he's smaller than me as far as, like, um height and shit, but my nigga a super fighter, nigga. That nigga a super fighter, and he got crackhead energy, nigga. He got crackhead stamina, nigga. Nigga, lucky my brother, because, nigga, we, we would have banked your ass, nigga. Fuck you talking about. We would have definitely banked your ass. Don't let, nigga, don't, let nigga, don't let that nigga have that pole in his hand, that metal pole in his hand. He would have whacked your ass, nigga. I would have came and bop, bop, nigga. We would have beat your ass, nigga. Thomas, I'm gonna get your son, nigga. You like my brother was in jail, nigga. We'd have beat your ass, nigga. Fuck you talk about, punk ass, nigga. Yeah, man. And I ain't had nobody else to call. I probably did, but I probably don't be knowing niggas' numbers. But that nigga like my brother was in jail. We'd have definitely whooped his ass. Nigga was talking shit. So, um, nigga, nigga, nigga tried to, nigga told me something son and shit. So I ain't worrying about it. Like, nigga, fuck you and your son. Like, I'm like, all right, this nigga ain't on shit. Once he started saying the son, he ain't on shit. But I ain't gonna flex, though. I wasn't really trying to fight that nigga for real, for real like that anyway, though. That nigga was big as fuck. He was big as fuck compared to me. I was standing on it, though. Because, like I said, I stand on my shit. But I wasn't really trying to fight, bro. Once I seen how big he was, I wasn't really trying to fight, bro. But I was standing on it, though. Don't get fucked up. I was standing on it, though. Y'all niggas, but y'all niggas can't say a lot. Y'all gonna piss me off if y'all saying a lie. Because, bro. Yeah, come on, bruh. Weight matters. If niggas saying weight don't matter, no, y'all niggas lying. Weight matters. Unless you a professional fighter, you you'll be you you'll be straight fighting somebody like no. If you're a trained fighter, I mean you don't gotta be professional. If you're a trained fighter, you'll be better. You you could be you could be better at fighting somebody bigger than you. But if you're not a trained fighter, come on, bro. Be realistic, bro. Wait, and even being a trained fighter, weight matters. But if you're a trained fi fighter, it'll help you. Could you could, but still, even a trained fighter like a nigga like. Like, you think, like, a nigga, like, a Floyd that's, like, one, well, he weighed, like, 150-something. You think he couldn't lose in a fight against a nigga who's 230-something, even though that nigga ain't trained? Like, the nigga good dead has knocked this nigga out in one punch. Like, that shit weight definitely matters, nigga. That's why they, like, come on, bro. You don't see no fucking Floyd man with a fight niggas like Deontay Wilder. Like, come on, bro. Be real, bro. So, goddamn, that nigga's lying, bro. Now y'all niggas ready to piss me off with that shit. But, bro, I had to make a business decision that day, and... Um, but I got in this car and left. I had to make sure he left though, cause mind you, I'm I'm right here ready to get food. So I mean, I can't leave nowhere. And you always get, make sure you never turn your back on niggas. Make sure niggas leave the scene. I make sure bro left the scene and shit. And I ain't gonna lie, cause I'm like bro, this nigga, you know what I'm saying? Nigga left and shit. One nigga told me, so alright, cause my son to beat your ass, shit laughing and shit like that. I'm like, go get your son, like nigga. I'm gonna end that nigga football career, yo bitch ass son. What the fuck you talk about? Like, that nigga see this video now, nigga, I got my weight up, nigga. Pussy. You still bigger than me, pussy. But come on now. I got my weight up, nigga. Get get up with me now, nigga. Blow your ass down, bitch. Fuck around with that pussy ass, nigga. That nigga, man. That nigga a hoe, man. That nigga a hoe. Nigga, nigga like nigga like thirty something trying to fight trying to fight it. I nigga I was a teenager, nigga. You like thirty something trying to trying to fight eighteen year old, yeah, nigga. You like thirty something trying to fight an eighteen year old, you a bitch, nigga. Fuck you talking about nigga. I ain't ready to fight no eighteen year old in my fucking thirty. Pussy ass nigga, I ain't shit hit your car. Nigga. Like you lucky I ain't motherfucking get in my car ran your ass over. <laughs> Fuck you talking about, nigga. Nigga, lucky I ain't get in my car ran his ass over. But goddamn, um yeah, so I went to go get my food and shit. We was in the park in like 15 minutes, so my, my food did get a little pretty cold and shit. That shit was supposed to be fresh. I called the order in, but that shit did get a little cold and shit. Know what I'm saying? But goddamn, fuck that nigga, bro. Nah, fuck that nigga. <laughs> if I, fuck that nigga for real, though. I ain't lying to y'all. But nah, man. That's the end of my story time, man. I had a bad road rage, man. That shit 
was um was gone wrong, ready, you know what I'm saying, end up in a fight and shit. But I'm gonna draw some more story times for you. I got hella road rage stories, but y'all already know I'm just winning. All I do is win.